Hey there, this is Heather and welcome back to Prison Architect. Before I get into it, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and you can also leave me a comment in the comment section to help me with the YouTube algorithm. So in this part, we are starting off finishing these new cells here. There still is a hole in the wall that they could just like run out of and escape from the prison, but we've got some doors, so I think we might be okay. Um, no one's escaped so far, so hopefully that will be fine. I don't know why this isn't flashing. Oh, well, these ones might not be designated as cells. That might be why. But anyway, hopefully we will be getting our 200 prisoner capacity um, when these are done. If not, we'll just add on more. We could add on more capacity for criminally insane because I definitely have enough room in this canteen for more prisoners to be eating here. And the criminally insane ones are definitely more of a challenge than the other prisoners, the minimum security prisoners. So I don't know, we could just uh, make it a little bit more difficult for ourselves and get more of these guys. Now, I don't see, what was his name? Like Matt Pratt and he was like around here. So, is that you? No, you're James Pratt. Are you like Matt Pratt's brother? Is this like a family business that you're all getting in prison? I don't know. Maybe he's been paroled. He was supposed to be paroled and I was kind of keeping an eye on that, but I don't see him anymore. So we actually have 30 prisoners who are up for parole. We have one person in lockdown. I don't know where they are. I'm not going to really try to figure that out. And we have some other things going on that we need to do, like have 10 prisoners pass the foundation education course. I don't know how we're doing on that. So we actually have a lot of people in it. There is a possibility that they could manage to pull that off and get that, uh, you know, 10 out of 10 for us. Um, but we won't really worry about that. It's not like critically important. Now, I'm going to assume, and it might not be a safe assumption to make, but it seems likely that I did a lockdown last, or sorry, a shakedown last night. So we're probably okay for the day and we'll just wait. Lots of money from prisoner intake here. Lots of money. Anyway, um, yeah, we should be able to just wait until sleep time again. And we've got people who are getting in trouble already the minute they come in, bringing their drugs into the prison. What is with all of this all the time? That's clearly not within the kitchen, but they don't seem to actually acknowledge that. And what are you doing in here, Warren Chisholm? Or what's... Your I don't know. I didn't read that right, I don't think, but he's gone now. So we've got two people in solitary. I think they were the new ones who came in and five in lockdown, probably also the ones who came in. And tomorrow we'll get eight more people. All right, we are paying for classes and I don't know. Do we pay someone to actually uh, lead spiritual things in here or is that free? I don't really care to look. It's probably not important to know. All right, now let's make sure there's no violence going on in here. Right now it's remarkably peaceful. There's one guy with the red hair and one guy with the red uniform, they stand out. But yeah, nobody died today, that is amazing. That's like the first time it hasn't happened. Oh, these are designated as cells, okay, good. So we don't have to do that, but we do need to put the utilities in here, it looks like at least the water, so we should probably get working on it. Yeah, we're gonna need electrical down this hallway, so we'll get working on that. And maybe just to there, and then like that. And then we'll get a large pipe in here, maybe just to there, there, and there. And then we'll get the small pipes hooked up. All right, so the toilets are in a different location because we were doing like a mirror image basically of the neighboring cell block. So let's just get all that in so they can actually use the toilet, take a shower and not be gross. Now, I'm not sure if this is actually going to be enough distance with the big pipe. So we might actually want to bring it to here. 
think that's probably a better idea. I mean, they could escape by digging into these pipes, so in that case, it wouldn't really be the best idea, but we're gonna help that they don't do that. Oh, we're in sleep time. Let's do a shakedown before I forget about that, because we definitely need to make sure that they don't overdose on things, which they're pretty likely to do if I ever skip a shakedown. So we don't want that to happen. All right. And we found a lot of stuff. Got needles, medicine, booze, poison, cigarettes, cell phones, drugs, and more M99, courtesy of Dexter. And I'm going to keep saying up the whole entire time, just because I can't help it at this point. All right, so the workers have a lot of things to do with those utilities. And a lot of people are probably going to be in solitary and lockdown by the end of this. We still have about 200, no, sorry, not 200, like 600 places to look. How is our class stuff going? Um, we got six people who already passed, actually. And we've got a lot of people interested. So that's pretty good. It's a long class, it's three hours. Oh, we've got a tunnel. Well, we're gonna have to drag that tool to remove the tunnels just over the entire prison. Found another tunnel over there. Fountain pens, a saw, oh my. Knives, forks, a shank, not great, not great. Scissors. Well, they sure have a variety of things now at this point. Um, are there any tunnels over here? I don't think so. I don't think the insane people actually dig. They are a lot of problems in kind of like every other way, but they don't tunnel out of the prison for whatever reason. Let's just make sure that I've gotten everything here. What do you have going on in here? Okay, so they already know to remove that tunnel. Good, we're fine. Let's just fast forward here. We will be getting 22 new prisoners and 31 are up for parole, one will be released. We've got six people in solitary, four in lockdown, nine, 10 awaiting solitary. We should probably expand the solitary. Like I said, I didn't want to have to build more solitary in the future, but I don't really think that there's a way around that. I think we'll just wait for the cell block to be done before we do that though, because they can wait for it a little bit. We have enough room for most of them. If I change like the configuration to be less capacity for the criminally insane, that's probably gonna be like helpful. So where do we find solitary in here? Right here, okay. So let's put a regular solitary there. Just because like the ratio of prisoners has definitely changed, there are many, many more that are not insane than are. So while the criminally insane people are particularly bad with their traits and are more likely to end up in solitary, um, there are just a lot more people in the rest of the prison who are likely to have a lot of contraband and things like that, which would put them in solitary in the first place. So we might have to run those classes like a whole additional time. Okay, this one's actually like halfway done. So this one ended, that's one where six people passed. It'd be nice if more people would be in that one. Um, we have so many people who are interested, but I guess they're doing other things. We've got 48 people who passed the drug addiction thing. That's pretty good. Definitely helpful. Now this is not using our money very well to be running this program. I don't think I want to do this 
Because I think we do have to pay for it, don't we? 200 per session for two people? Well, I guess we could do it. I mean, what price can you put on, like, being sober? Probably not a good idea to put a price on it. I don't think the parole hearings cost anything. No. Um, spiritual guidance does cost 250 And then we do have a lot of people who want to actually go and do that. Maybe we should get more. Yeah. Okay, so a lot of people have passed that, too. That's pretty good. All right. Now everyone is eating. Hopefully we won't have any more violence. Hopefully today will be another good day like yesterday where nobody died in the canteen. Although I guess there are two eat times a day and I probably was only paying attention to one of them. Did someone throw up or pee there? I mean, I guess we could put toilets in the canteen, like in the corner behind a wall segment if we wanted to, but that just kind of sounds gross to me, so... Um, we could put phones in there if we wanted. We should check people's needs. So it's sleep time right now. We're going to want to do a shakedown. Um, you want literature. You want alcohol. Yeah, we definitely need to keep running the alcoholic group therapy because they have a really high need for it in some cases. I think we want to get a library going next. That would be a pretty good thing to have. Um, maybe we could replace that yard with it because I don't want that to be there. Or we could just put it here next to the classroom, which would make a lot of sense. So we could do that. Um, I forget what we need for this, but we obviously need a door. So let's get a door. We'll just do a regular door for this. We just like put it right there. And then once they open that room up, we can worry about the rest of it. Let's do a shakedown of everything. We've got fewer places to look today, but still just about 1,400 places to look. And they seem to get the contraband like replenished very quickly every day. So we can't skip at all. And I might need more guards too. I only have 30 and I've got 170 prisoners. That's quite bad actually. And I do have a lot of money. So let's just have 40 guards instead. And they're still almost completely all busy at one time. There are a few that are resting, but not many. And did I see a tunnel over here? Well, we'll have to just use that tool over everything. Anyway, we do have something going on there and there. That's not good. Definitely not good. There has to be something going on over here. All right, so that's queued up. And then what about this one? Yeah. All right, so they should be tending to that pretty soon. But otherwise, not really super eventful. Okay, and this door has now allowed us to use this room. I was thinking about doing another classroom in here, but I think a mail room would be, not a mail room, sorry, a library would be really good. And we will get discarded and used books from around the country and prisoners will have to sort them. We need a library shelf and a sorting desk. So I guess we'll have a nice big library and let's just zoom in on it to make this easier. Literature and comfort needs. Well, do we really want them on a computer? I don't know. Do we? I guess it might not be the end of the world for them to have computer access. It seems like, I don't know, a little bit questionable. Let's cancel that one. I want this to be symmetrical at least a little bit. So there's a little place in the middle there. Um, do we have like a pillar or something we could place there? Maybe. 
I don't know what we even have in this game anymore. There are so many things that have been added. And there's some kind of emergency vehicle going by outside. I don't know if you can hear that. Sounds serious, too. Alright, let's put a sorting desk down here. I don't know how many we need for this, but... Probably at least like a couple, right? Because we've got a lot of shelves. Okay, so all the sirens have stopped now, hopefully. And we will just get back to playing the game. We've got our sorting desks there. And... Improves a common room's grade. So we could have just put that in a common room. However, um, we're not really using the common room. And I don't really want them to be in the common room, like finding internet girlfriends or something. That I don't like too much. That sounds a little bit creepy to me. Um, so let's just put some couches in here so that they can read I don't know if they will really be reading in this room or not but this seems fine and I'll just place them like that and then we need to put lights in so let's get lights in here I don't know how many people we can assign to work in here. We might want to get more bookshelves too. This is like a pretty nice library, honestly. Um, despite the fact that the books are discarded and all of that, as it said in the description, it's still pretty big. Just get some wiring in here for the electrical. It's now sleep time. It's 1 a.m. Let's do another shakedown. We've missed the entire day. I don't even know what happened to the prisoners while I was building that library. But hopefully we can get that done pretty soon. And these cells are still not done. They have to place the toilet in. A variety of other things. We've got a lot of tunnels today. That's a pretty big tunnel right there. They dug right in the middle of the hallway. <laughs> yeah, you're in trouble. Oh my gosh, look at that guy. What does this say about him? Sentenced to 13 years for handling stolen goods. Oh boy. It's a pretty long time just for handling some stolen goods. But, um, yep, lots of tunnels there. Do you have any up here? I hope they're not tunneling in my brand new cell block. That would be annoying. But then again, they are uh, criminals, so most of what they do is pretty annoying. Not like a ton of contraband today, but definitely some things that could cause a lot of injuries in the canteen tomorrow. So it's good we got it out of there. All right, now what do we need to do for this? Don't they just need like the foundation education? Oh um, no, we don't need patrols. Logistics, prison labor, 22 jobs. I don't think we need 22 jobs in there. Maybe six people can work in there. I don't even know if that will work. We don't have like six deaths, I don't know what they each need to work in there. It says that 22 of them could work in there. So it might have been fine already for that many people, but I don't remember. It's kind of fun not to know. Everyone's having their visitation except for this guy, or no, it's someone's mother. It's not, not a guy. Well, maybe it is, but that will get extra complicated. All right, and 
Since you are agitated, you want freedom. Well, you're not going to get freedom because you were in prison and that is the whole point. You, okay, and we have gotten 10 people to pass that foundation education course. So we do need to work on the general one. Can we do that though? I don't know if we actually have any time slot we could possibly do it. No regime time slot. So I could change this to move eat time up. And maybe we will do that and just like make these shorter. But what is the program going on? So four to seven, nine to 12. Okay, so these three hours, and then E time, we'll just move E time here. Okay, and then four to seven. Hmm. Maybe we should change this around. So right now we have lock up and shower. I think we'll put shower here, work free time to there, eat time, lock up. We could do more work free time right here. And then we've got three different time locks we could do. They need to have some lockup though, that's like pretty important. So let's like have them in there like that. So that's what we'll have from now on. I'm gonna have to change the programs around. So let's reschedule all of them. And now we've got four people in there. So that should be good. Should all work out just fine. That way they can do three different things now, which they couldn't do before. Okay, 10 families are waiting. Three prisoners are up for release. 31 up for parole. I'm not sure why that's not like cycling more quickly when they could be going and having their parole meetings, but for some reason they're not. I think they go eventually, but it just doesn't seem to happen right away. Now, is this cell block done? Is that a cell? It is a cell. Okay. All right. So we have completed the cell block D. We have enough room for 234 prisoners. So we don't need to build any more. You are in trouble. You broke your toilet. Why are all of these workmen trying to get in. And that guy was released too. All right, so these pipes are still not working. I didn't finish this because we had other things to do. Good thing I saw that now before that went on any longer and they got more and more irritated. I can see now why he would have destroyed his toilet because He's like, this thing doesn't even work. It's a piece of garbage. Let me just destroy it. I think that's what's going on. All right, so everyone should be showering in their cell right now. Doesn't look like a lot of them actually are. Kind of weird, but whatever. And we should have, yeah, we have a lot of students in here. Kind of like enough for two classes. I think they can only teach a certain amount um, at one time, actually. So that's interesting. I hadn't remembered that, but I think there's only a maximum of like maybe 25. Let's like look at that. 20 places, okay. So I should probably change that. Um, how many are here? So 
seven times three. So we could just get rid of these three desks and then put a wall down the middle. Um, let's see. So I need to get another office desk. Maybe just like, well, they're going to stand in front of it, so maybe like there, and then we can get another blackboard. But you know what? I don't want that office desk right there. That's kind of weird. Like maybe right here, and they can stand like under that light or something <laughs> when they do it. And then we're going to need to put doors in either side of where it is now and just turn this into two different classrooms as soon as they actually get that out of the way um but i need to move this one so let's move that one i don't want them to like get disrupted while they're doing this because they might be doing the foundation education course right now yeah all right well, let's move it now and then we'll get a concrete wall right down the middle here. Can't place it there. I need to remove this door first. So let's dismantle that door. All right. And then we'll put that wall there. And that should like divide it in two. We'll see if it actually does or if it moves it to one side. And then we can just like rearrange the schedule. There we go. I've got two classrooms now. Awesome. Let's reschedule our program. So we've got this full. A lot of people are interested. So we'll just have a third one. A lot more people are interested as well. All right. So I guess we'll just have it like these three that should be enough yeah that's definitely way better people are overdosing it's time to do another shakedown before we end the episode so that people don't kill each other or themselves tomorrow that'd be pretty bad and we do have like all these shelves full so we probably want to buy some more just because why not um which way is this going that's my question okay so it should be flipping in the right direction if we do it like this okay hopefully it doesn't really matter but probably does and now they can have even more books that should definitely help their needs and we do have another tunnel to pick so we'll get working on that okay well i'm gonna end this part here i hope you enjoyed hanging out with me please like the video subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment in the comment section and i will talk to you tomorrow bye